That's right, Joyce. Organizers say they have more than 16,000 signatures on petitions, which, if they're validated, could trigger an unusual vote in Seattle history. If Seattle politics are at times like a three ring circus. Thanks. Have a good day. Then this would be just the latest act. It's about holding a politician accountable. A twist for an elected leader who often thrives on the theater of it all. Three term council member Shama Sawan already admitted to one ethics violation for misusing city funds, but today's recall campaign says she should be ousted for unlocking City Hall during the pandemic for a protest, risking the health of city employees, and leading a march to the mayor's home last summer, which resulted in vandalism to Jenny Durkin's house. She has not uphold the oath of office. I mean, number one, she didn't care about public safety in her whole sector. Prominent civil rights leader Reverend Harriet Walden backs the recall. We need people encouraged in this town who are willing to stand up to the bullies. Walden stood behind the stack of petitions, which dwarfed a collection of signatures gathered by SWAT, including her own, a calculated move to press the issue to the November ballot. It is too late to make it onto the November ballot. But King County Election says if a specific number of signatures are validated, they need 10,687 signatures. The measure will be sent to voters only in Sawant's district with a single issue ballot later this year. One she's already characterized as bankrolled by billionaires. I'm literally not a billionaire, <laughs> and most of my all my volunteers are not billionaires. It also means the political circus will likely be playing once again. So once Camp did not return emails today requesting comment on the developments, although her camp did tweet a statement asking for donations saying, quoting now, the right wing campaign had turned in their signatures and it planned to fight, quote, blatant voter suppression. Already, the Sawant Solidarity Camp has raised $625,000. The ballot's backers have done the same. That's the story live tonight at the King County Elections Office. I'm Chris Daniels, King 5 News.